Hello folks, my name is Matthias and in this video I want to show you how to easily generate synthetic data using the Python client. In a previous video I've shown you how to train a new generator, but now I'm going to make use of that pre-trained generator to generate some synthetic data. For that example we use a two-table setup with customers and purchases of the CDNow dataset. The tables are linked through a foreign key. So the user ID that appears here is the ID of the user in this table. As you would have seen in the previous video, I have already created an API key and initialized the client object. And in the previous video, I used this piece of code to generate the generator or to create the generator. So now that I have the generator, I can just use it by calling the UUID on it. So the code that I need is very simple. It's just use the ID of the generator and then how many rows of the primary cable of the primary table I want to generate. Let's do it. So the synthetic data set is already exists as an entity in the UI. Let's take a look. It's the CDNow dataset. And you can see here the same progress bars that we can see in our notebook. Let's take a quick look at the data to see what to expect. So we have um, in the interesting data table here in the purchases, we have a date, we have the CDs. Um, that people purchased and then the amount that they spent on these purchases. So that's what's going to be available to us. Oh wow, it looks like this one is almost done. And that means that very soon, oh, here we go, it's already done. So the synthetic data set is ready, which means that I can access it in my Python notebook. Since there are two tables in there, the data is going to be delivered as a dictionary with the table names as the key. So if I'm interested in looking at the purchases, then I will use the purchases key on the data object here. And just like in the UI, here is the, uh, the data with the date, the CDs and the amount. And now of course, I can do all sorts of analysis with this synthetic data without ever leaving my notebook. We have lots of more options that you can control while creating synthetic data using a generator. For that, look for an upcoming video.